Okay, so in this video, we're going to find the binomial expansion of 4 plus 5x to the power of a half. So first of all, we write down the binomial expansion formula. So where that is, 1 plus ax to the power of n equals 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 over 2x squared, and so on and so on. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a problem here. We've got 1 plus ax, and here we've got 4 plus 5x. So the 5x wouldn't necessarily be a problem, but this 4 is, we need it in this format. So let's see if we can do anything with what we've got here. So we've got 4 plus 5x to the power of a half. So we can rewrite that as square root. Anything to the power of a half is a square root. So 4 plus 5x, that's our square root. Okay, now what we could do to get the 1, if we factor out the 4, then we get a 1 plus something. So let's do that. So we've got square root of 4 times 1 plus 5 over 4x. That is now the same as that. So square root of 4 inside the radical, what we can do is, we can take 2 out, obviously square root of 4 is 2. So we get 2 times square root 1 plus 5 over 4x. So now we've got this all nice and clean inside the radical there. So now what we do, we can just write this as 1 plus 5 over 4x to the power of a half. So this is now the same as this. Okay, so that's that. And then we can use this 1 plus 5 over 4x in this manner. So we could say a is 5 over 4 and n equals a half when we're going through all this formula here. Now this a here, we can put that as the coefficient for our x's. So what we can add in here now is an a there and an a there, just to make sure we put this five over four through all this formula. So rewriting this, just boxing this off, we get, because we've got a two here, we have to put a two here. So two times one plus five over four x, to the power of a half equals okay now this doesn't have the two in front of it but to make it the same we multiply this side by two we multiply this side by two so two times one plus a is five over four n is a half and then the x just stays and then we add n and n minus 1, n is a half, so that becomes half and minus a half. Over 2. And then the ax squared, so that becomes 5 over 4x squared. And then we'll carry on. Obviously we've got a bracket there. Okay, right, let's just break this down even more. So that equals now 2 times 1 plus 5 over 4 times a half is 5 over 8 x plus. Okay, half times minus half is minus 1 quarter over 2. And then 5 over 4 x squared, just square each term, we get 25 over 16 x squared and that's that okay so just to tidy this up a little bit so we've got let's start again two times one plus five over eight x plus okay let's be careful here two sixteens of 32 and we could bring this four down as well so that's over 128 x squared that won't change Let's just make that clearly on the there. And then minus 1 times 25 gives us minus 25. Okay. So now what we can do is we can write this down here. Give us our answer. 2 times 1 plus 5 over 4x to the power of a half equals. Distribute the 2. 
into all of these terms. And we can also distribute this plus or minus. So we then we're left with two plus, two plus five times, two plus five over eight. Well, two and eight gives, that gives us a four on the bottom. So five over four X plus two and the one, two, eight gives us 64 on the bottom. Two times minus 25, we've taken care of the two, so we can now just put the minus 25 on the top. So this sign can change. So that's minus 25 x squared. Okay, then that gives us our answer. That's our binomial expansion for the first three terms.